All right, I wanted to show you these today. These are called race dots. Um, they replace pins for your race bibs. Uh, they're very strong magnets. They come in uh, different package sizes and designs. This is what I have with some turtles. Uh, usually come in fours. You need fours if you're going to do a race. Um, that's what the back looks like. Actually, put a couple extra backings that I had on there. Uh, again, they replace the safety pins. So if you don't want to put holes in your clothes, um, save your clothes if you really like your shirt or your shorts. You use these. You don't have to worry about putting holes in them or anything like that. Really, as you see, where they go is I left. I put two on, and I left two uh, spots open. So usually a bib, your race bibs have four holes in them. Uh, that's why they come in sets of four for the most part. So you just put them in each of the holes, and they stay there pretty well. See, look, yanking on it pretty good. They're not coming off. So what happens is, I'll show you right here. See how it's got that little divot in there? And the, uh, the other part of the magnet's got the hole. What happens is, oh, hold on. What? Yeah. It comes one signal unit like that, but with your uh, clothing, whether it be your shorts or your shirt in between. Now, you're not really supposed to put them together without anything in between, so that's why you always gotta keep the cardboard backing, uh, replace them when you're done using. So, you see the pack like this? Always keep this white backing. Uh, put your race dots back in place after every use because if, if you let them touch and go like that without anything in between they can break or the, like the chrome outer layer can flake off so all I'm going to do is take the design one it's going to go in the front well let me do the back first I'm going to do the backing That's all there is to it. Um, you got to play with it a little bit and figure out how to move it or get them in the uh, right place. It does take a little bit of practice, but it's a really great product. It's pretty cheap. It's cheaper than replacing a shirt all the time. You know, after a couple races, you start putting a couple of holes in your favorite shirt, and guess what? You have to go buy another shirt. You know, that's twenty, thirty, or even fifty dollars. You know, you get a, a really nice performance shirt that costs fifty, sixty bucks. So this is a way to um, save your shirt, protect it, so you can keep using it over and over and not have to worry about holes anymore. Um, one thing I will say about these, the magnets are super strong. Um, again, make sure you always have something in between and just don't let them smack into each other um, because it will break them. I've had a few break. I don't know if they've improved that um, in the last couple of years. Going down, uh, oh, getting to two downfalls. I already said I was going to talk about one, but there's actually two. One is if you're wearing like compression shorts and you're a guy and you don't wear anything on top, you really can't use these for compression shorts. Uh, I don't know how you're going to reach down in and uh, put them on properly with compression shorts. But if you still have a top, it's it's a hell of a great option um, that way. But again, if you like me, if I'm wearing compression shorts, I like it down here. And for me to like reach and try to from noodle stuff, it's just not going to happen. So I usually end up wearing safety pins that way. But if I'm wearing a shirt, you know, these work perfectly fine. Um, no matter how fast you're going, they're not going to fly off. Because once you have all four, you know, you make it flush to your body. So it's pretty tight. These actually stay a lot tighter than a safety pin would. Because you know how safety pin's got that like oval shape, and then it, it allows for the uh, the bit to go like this a little bit as you're running or make a noise. But if you do it right, make it tight. It's going to be really tight against your body if that's your preference. Um, there's no way anything's going to fly off or even come off. And again, 
even with this, like look at this. They're not coming apart because I'm yanking on them. <clears throat> you might not want to wear these for like an OCR. Because um, you don't want to lose one in the mud or dirt or anything like that. But your normal trail, road, or even a bike race, these are perfect for it. Um, now the two downfalls, what I'm going to get at is watch when you're by a vehicle. If you're doing this in like a parking lot or anything before a race, you're putting them on. Um, they will stick to a vehicle very easily. The other thing is, once they smack, they can be really hard to get apart, and then they, they do break if they smack a little bit. Um, those are like the two downfalls. So anytime I touch anything metal, let me see if, let me see if they'll stick the weight. Yeah, see? I got a weight here, just watch it. So when I used to wear these all the time, to get near my vehicle before race, you know, leading in, next thing I know, get stuck to the vehicle and you don't want to scratch your vehicle so make sure um, you're paying attention once you put these on or you're trying to put them on you don't want to set them on your trunk because it you know you're going to get a scratch in your trunk uh, let's see I've got one here that I broke so I did you know I let them smash because I was in a hurry taking them off they just like smash so it like did break them so it is possible I know they'll probably get mad at me for saying that, but either way, whatever. Um, there's tons of designs, you can customize them as well. I just think it's the value in them. I don't know how much they are now. Um, I think they used to be like $10, $15. They might be a little bit more now with the prices going up. But just one set alone is worth it because it saves you a shirt or shorts or anything like that. You know it's well worth the money oh uh, speaking of shorts uh, if you're wearing like really baggy shorts and stuff where stuff's gonna flap around or it has a possibility just gonna watch that it um, you make them tight enough on your legs and spread out so it's more like this instead of bunching up because let's see if I can do it you end up getting them stuck together like that you know, you don't want that to happen during the race because if you're trying to take them apart, you don't want like a backing or something to fall off or anything like that. Um, I'm trying to give you the pros and cons. There's a lot more pros than any of the cons. Um, other than that, I've liked them. I've used them for years. Um, never had an issue. The customer service is excellent. The guy's really nice. I met him a few times at a couple of events uh, at the expos. He's willing to help you and work with you at any way you can, um, or he can, or whatever. Uh, just something different to do and use for races. So I do recommend them. Check them out.